everybody and welcome back to Nerdvana Reactions. I'm Anna and today we are back to Leo Maracchioli's channel to check out his cover of These Boots Are Made For Walking. Now, I have heard the original version of the song. That said, the one that I'm most familiar with and I'm mildly amused to share this fact is the version that Antonio Banderas did at the end of Shrek 2. Well, I don't even think it was technically the end because I think it was a special feature on the DVD um, where you could do Far Far Away karaoke. <laughs> and he was doing it as Puss in Boots. So yeah, that's the version of this song that I am the most familiar with. I look forward to seeing what Leo does with it. He never fails to just bring it on every possible level. His stuff is always a blast, and I could really use that because I just ended up in tears over my last reaction. So let's go ahead and get into this. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to check the description box where you'll find the link to the original video as well as my Cash App, Patreon, and all my social media links. seconds in and I'm really fighting to contain a complete laughter breakdown because of these little tiny baby hands and baby feet be showing. <laughs> like I said, he, he never disappoints on the entertainment value. <laughs> and the music itself is always gorgeous too, so. Something you call love, my confess. Where you shouldn't have been a missing And now someone else is getting it all the best And these boots are made for walking And that's just what they'll do One of these days these boots are gonna walk all over you If there's such a thing as a behind the scenes video for how he made this, I need to see it. So if if there is, somebody link it in the description because this is insane. <laughs> in the absolute best way. Like I I don't even begin to know how he pulled this off. And you keep when you to be a changer. Walk all over you. The moonwalk. 
usually don't listen to the more screamy metal, but when it comes to him, I just, I have to make the exception because A, when he's not doing the more screamy stuff, he sounds phenomenal. He has a really good voice. And B, his personality just shines through in such a way that I can't, even if I end up with a headache later because of the screamy bits, it's still worth it because he's just so entertaining. And that is a quality that not a lot of artists have shown. <coughs> like, there's been a few times where artists have turned around either a song that I don't like or a musical style that I don't like with just personality and entertainment value. And, yeah, that's definitely where this falls for me. Um, but when it comes to that guitar solo, if anybody knows how much of that was, like, because I remember more of the vocals from the original. I don't really remember the instrumentals. So I'm not sure how much of that was purely his arrangement and how much of that was adapted from the original for a more metal style. Sorry about the weird cut. Um, <laughs> my cat demanded to be fed right then and there or else she wasn't going to stop contributing her noise to the background. And I already have plenty of background noise <laughs> because of fans and my child, so I wanted to go ahead and knock out the cat noise. <laughs> outro in this particular instance because I just I never know what's going to be in it and I don't want spoilers for anything else so alright you guys this was a ton of fun as his stuff always is so I will see you back for the next one <laughs>